buggy and automobile, men wondered. Looks more like a four-wheel beetle, one of them said. No, I wasn't too proud of myself back there at the start when the Army first looked me over. Then they sent me out on the road. They tried to drown my motor, but my ignition was set too high for that. They tried to break my back on roller coaster roads. But when I held together, it looked as if the Army and I might somehow get along because they gave me a nickname. From the words general purpose, they took the G and the P. They called me Jeep. Hmm. It sounded more like a noise than a name. Then it really began. I was sent out on maneuvers. And the things they asked me to do, like rivers, for instance. I had to be light enough to cross water in my own canvas tarpaulin. Lucky I didn't weigh more than 2,200 pounds. And it was lucky that I wasn't any bigger than 11 feet long and 5 feet wide and 3 feet high. Because when the outfit took to the air, they expected me to go right along with them. One day it'd be airplane. The next it'd be a transport glider. And if I wasn't riding in them, I was pulling them up into the sky. Lucky I was 60 horsepower strong. The Army was getting tougher, preparing itself for the big offenses that were coming. And I had to get tougher to keep up. I'll say one thing. No matter what they asked me to do, pull cannon, break my own road through the underbrush, or keep moving at better than 70 miles an hour, it was no worse than what my driver was ready to do himself. The American soldier and I got along fine, like a good rider and a horse. We got to be pals. But even so, I had my doubts. Most of the machines around me had proved themselves in battle. I was still on probation. Yet, whether I was accepted, until all of a sudden I found myself in mass production. It meant only one thing. I was a success. I was getting turned out one every two minutes. Thirty jeeps an hour. What do you think of that? All of a sudden... I found that I was a popular kind of character. I was marching right up there in front with the band. I was meeting movie stars, and we went out driving together. We sold war bonds right down the streets of Washington, D.C. itself. I was a success. I got all set to go traveling. They credited me up for shipment overseas to do the job I was built for. was sent over by the thousands. And I traveled with the guy I liked best, my pal, the soldier. Wherever he goes, I go. And let me tell you, we land together on a lot of different shores. I went to work in the South Sea Islands. I fought mud in North Africa. I went sightseeing in Egypt. And in China, I teamed up with General Stilwell, with General Chenault and his flying tigers. I kept from freezing up in Alaska and from boiling down in Timor. I traveled with General MacArthur in New Guinea, I was a success. I hobnobbed with famous people. But the thing that makes me a success most of all is this. I've made a friend. I mean the soldier. Wherever you see one of us, the other won't be far behind. And that goes for now, when we're heading together, and for after the war, when we'll be building together. 
because the rumor is going around that Jeep is here to stay. 